He's one half of the team who dumped the Murray brothers out of the 2012 Olympics. Jürgen Meltzer is a very hard man to beat. When I'm playing well, when I'm healthy and moving well, I mean, I'm, I'm tough to beat. I can play very fast. I think that's probably my biggest weapon, that I, the pace that I have in my strokes. Having turned pro back in 1999, Jürgen now has a veteran's eye view on the ever-changing state of the game. It got so physical. That's, that's the thing that I have experienced over the years. I mean, it's my, I don't know, probably 12th, 13th year on the tour. So um, the, the, the way of the level of fitness that you have to bring into the game at the moment, it's just, it's just super. And that means unswerving dedication, only more so as the years go by. Me also, the older you get, I mean, the more, the more time you have to take care of your body and you have to really uh, start listening to your body a little bit better than you probably have to when you're 25. So it's taking some time off, taking, like, finding out what's the right practice, finding out how much you can practice, how much time you need for recovery and that sort of thing. This February, Meltzer clinched the singles title in Memphis, a victory that confirmed his return to his best after an injury plagued 2011. I mean, I was lucky enough to have a career where I'm 30 years old and it's the first season where I really have injury troubles. So um, I was blessed with my, with my body that got me through to the whole, to, to, through my whole entire career. So one year is okay. So it was basically the first year in my career where I really had injury troubles and it's tough to recover from them, but considering I still won two Grand Slams, one in mixed and one in doubles, I'm happy with it. With a current singles ranking of 37, it's that fine pedigree in doubles that sets Meltzer apart. As well as winning the US Open doubles last year, he also won Wimbledon in 2010. And he'll be taking all that big occasion know-how into this summer's Olympics. Sometimes winning ugly is enough. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you played well or if you like really played bad, but it's the W that counts. And that's what you have to get at the end of the day. And the more wins you have, I mean, once you get through first, second round, it's, I think you feel more comfortable on the court. You, you know the, the challenges around you, you know the balls better, you know how to string the racket, you know, every, all of these things you, you get together after two, three matches, and that's why it's so important to start well. Jürgen's participation at the London Olympics meant one sacrifice. He couldn't play in the Bet at Home Cup Kitzbühel in his home country, Austria. They missed their number one in the Alpine Resort, but Meltzer has done much to make tennis fashionable again, back home. The popularity of tennis, like, when Musta was playing, was, there was a huge hype around him and then it kind of got lost a little bit in other sports. And after my great season, end of great season of 2009 and then my top season 2010, tennis got, got back again in Austria and people start talking about it again. It's back on TV and so it's, it's big. There was no Meltzer, but in Kitzbühel, Holland's Robin Hasse would be defending his title. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, we're in Washington as DC welcomes the ATP World Tour. And Olympic spirit, we've a special report from behind the scenes at the greatest show on earth. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24 seven breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.